Welcome to the solution for the Hanayama Enigma puzzle. This is the very first Hanayama puzzle I ever had and I immediately fell in love with the, the company. The quality is fantastic. Still remains to this day to be one of my favorite puzzles. The biggest challenge with solving the Hanayama puzzle on camera is holding everything so that I'm not moving three parts at once. So I'm going to try if I can, to hold one piece completely steady um, for your viewing pleasure so it's not out of whack. And the piece I'm going to use is this one. This is going to be our base piece and I'm going to move everything else based around this one. So I'm going to start out with this piece here. This is the one that has the Hanayama stamped into it. And that piece is going to take um, the little gap right there, go down into here, and you can kind of see right there that that will go over this small um, thin part here so that it's into there. Now I'm going to twist this piece around and put the large opening over top of the tail of our base piece. To do that I also need to, sw to move this piece slightly so that they're oriented so you can see that it will go right through there. All right, so this piece here is going to go around and through there. Now this one now has to kind of move out of the way. This piece can now slide right around there. Again, that gap you can see will go over top. That, and then this second piece is going to follow. Just like that. Again, trying to keep this base one here um, stable for you. Now I'm going to flip this piece around and take this first piece and go over top of that. And I'm going to flip it back again. And that will allow me to move this piece here um, along that groove and back out over top of the tail of the base to here. See how I did that? Now I'm going to take this piece and just slide it off. That's how we get the first piece off. The second piece, this one here that's going to come off, I'm going to have to do a little bit of um, kind of twisting. What we want to do is to get that gap right there to slide over top of this, but not up like that to where it gets stuck. So to do this, we actually have to flip this thing around. And this is how we'll do that. We're going to get it into this position and sort of move it over to there. You shouldn't have to force this too hard. It does fit um, nicely. You may have to wiggle it slightly, especially the first time you're doing it, but it will fit right in there. And now you can see that it will slide off and come apart. So that's the solution for taking apart the Hanayama Enigma puzzle. Putting this back together again, it's largely the same as taking it apart. There is one step that I will point out to you that you have to do exactly right or it will not work and it might be a little bit tricky, but try it out on your own um, and see if you can get it and then come back to this and, and try it out. So I'm going to start out by putting this inside of there and then sliding it in this way onto here. This is a little bit tricky. If you, um, if you put the tail ends of these like this, they'll get stuck and they won't go on. So you have to make sure that they're sort of away from each other like that slide this one onto there and then I'm going to twist this around like that so that it's sitting on the base. Next I'm going to bring in our original piece number one and put it onto the base just like that. <clears throat> now I'm going to swing this piece around 
so that the large hole goes over the tail. And this is the step that I was talking about earlier, can really make a big difference. While this piece is coming down like that, it has to go over top of this tail. So you can see how I'm going to do that right here. I'm gonna put the tail through there so that when this slides over, the tail goes through. And if you don't put this tail through at the same time, then this solution does not work. So now, now that the tail's through, you can twist it like that. And get these two pieces so that they're sitting in this way. There and there. Now I am going to slide this piece up to there, and this piece will follow. See that? This piece will follow around. And then the large opening here is going to go over top of there. We do need to orient this so that it looks like that and it will slide over nicely. Okay. And then the last step, it looks like quite a mess right now, but our last step is to take this piece, that original piece, and slide over that gap and then we have it back to our original setting. So that's how you put it back together again with the Hanayama Enigma puzzle. If you found that one helpful or fun, I actually have links to where you can get a hold of this puzzle and similar puzzles that I think that you'll enjoy. If you enjoyed this one, um, the Hanayama has a whole series of, of puzzles that you can enjoy. And if you purchase them using the links below, um, that will help fund my next video. So I would really appreciate that. Hope that was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.